Hey there investors, today let's demystify a crucial term in the world of mutual funds, NAV or net asset value. Think of NAV as the price tag of a mutual fund unit. It shows you the market value per unit on a specific day. Here's how it's calculated. You take the total value of all the fund's investments, like stocks and bonds, and divide it by the number of units owned by investors. For instance, if a fund holds assets worth Rs 100 crore and has 10 crore units outstanding, the NAV would be our shots. 10 per unit. Simple, right? NAV helps investors in several key ways. It reflects the fund's performance and assists in making investment decisions. Tracking NAV over time can indicate when to invest, switch funds, or sell units. Plus, it allows you to compare different funds investing in similar assets, helping you choose wisely. However, NAV isn't the exact price you pay or receive when buying or selling units. Market prices can vary slightly due to investor demand throughout the trading day. For open-ended funds, the market price is usually close to NAV, while for closed-end funds, it can differ more due to supply and demand dynamics. By monitoring NAV regularly, you can gain insights into a fund's performance compared to benchmarks. Lower expense ratios or management fees generally lead to higher NAVs, which benefits investors. Dividend reinvestment plans or DRIPs can also affect NAVA over time by reinvesting dividends into more units. Remember, while NAV is crucial, it's just one factor to consider alongside your investment goals and risk tolerance. Consulting a financial advisor can provide personalized guidance tailored to your financial objectives. That's it for now, folks. Keep these tips in mind and you'll be better prepared to navigate the world of mutual fund investments. Happy investing!